Greetings and blessings, my wonderful friends. How are you doing? This is a subject that it cannot be contained in only one video. And we are talking about the dark night of the soul, which is a process that only the bravest are going through. And what is the dark night of the soul? You see, many learned about this process through the twin flame phenomenon. And the dark night of the soul, it does not appear nowadays in this uh, twin flame uh, storyline. It began hundreds of years ago. I personally found in the books of magic uh, that I've been studying the exact process being described by the head magicians as the process that unlocks the true powers of the actual true wizards of this world. It's kind of strange because such a depressive, negative situation somehow can unlock the best out of you. And how this works? You see, it comes with a package of the twin flames, right, in this timeline, because many people really, really want to have their significant other with them to feel complete, to feel in love, to feel that are not rejected, that are respected, that somebody wants them, and that they can have somebody to live uh, the rest of their lives with them. But you see, Twin Flames is not a typical relationship. It is focused upon the light workers that are in a mission in this world. And uh, it targets them because somehow light workers are being programmed by society and religion and they were out of their path. So this significant other came in your life, but instead of bringing love, he or she brought chaos. And that chaos is your starting point to discovering your true self. Because you see, you forgot yourself uh, within your basic needs, desires, uh, or even mind things that you thought that you liked or you would like to have. But in the end, that a special one appeared to destroy everything because you forgot to have safe boundaries, you forgot how to really appreciate and value yourself, and you forgot how to give love and not only expect love. So the dark night of the soul is a process of really deep and dark depression. And you feel like you want to die every day, you feel like the only way to, to go out of that situation is by killing yourself, literally. When I've been through that, the only thing that made me feel good at that moment, it was staring from the third floor I was living down and hoping that if I fall, everything will go away. But you see, this is a metaphor about killing your old self with its old habitual patterns, its old mindset, and everything that it belongs in the old programming that is not helping you move forward and help other people too. So how do you go out of the dark night of the soul? First, socialize. Go out. Uh, people that are in the dark night of the soul, they have a tendency to wait to, to from a specific source to receive something. If it's love, money, acceptance, resources, whatever and they keep their waiting and they are not giving love or interacting with people as they should be because you are not here to live and die alone, but to interact with everybody and share love and learn and expand and go back to your source. So first thing, socialize, go out there and talk to people, volunteer, volunteer in big groups that help homeless people that are preparing meals for others, uh, do something with other people, it will help you tremendously. And number two, give. Always give. When you are in this situation, I tried everything. Meditating, uh, drinking, doing all the things I thought that they would help me, exercising, nothing helped me besides these two things. Socializing and giving, offering. If you don't have money to give or something, uh, perhaps you can give a service. Perhaps you read tarot, perhaps you are a life coach, uh, perhaps 
you are a hairdresser, give a service for free, do something to make somebody else feel good. Because you see, if you interact with others with love and blessing, this will come back to you. But if you are there thinking that you have been abandoned, that you've been rejected by your twin flame or this or that, and you are not loved, guess what? This will keep repeating in your life. And many people, unfortunately, remain in that process for longer periods of time because they don't want to get rid of their ego. So by removing your ego, you will allow light to come in your life and remove the process and transmute this process to its uh, original form, which is to help you expand and move forward in your life by becoming your new best self. I hope you like my videos. If you like my videos, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in an upcoming video. Stay tuned.